Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Throwback 30. This is a project we started back in July and it's a Fantastic Ladies Club project. Pardon me, I have a cat here on my lip. It's a Fantastic Ladies Club project. It was created by Jessica to kind of focus on some of the projects we may not have been able to, to participate in for the Fantastic Ladies group. And so there are 50 prompts and they're all based on projects that were done in the group. So I'm not going to show you everything that I'm working on because I don't have progress on everything. I'm just going to show you the stuff that I've actually used since the last update. I do have two things that can roll out today. The first one is for the project prompt skin is in. So I rolled in the Algenist gentle rejuvenating cleanser and I did finish this guy. I'm so happy. I've had this forever. I have one more of these and it's probably going to go to a project next year to try to get out of my collection because it needs to go. This is an okay cleanser. Not for me. I think it had like little what looked like it could be exfoliating bits, but they didn't really do much. Yeah, I would not purchase this. I don't think you can, but yeah, I don't know how I got these. But anyway, it's done. Next project prompt I can roll out is Turn and Burn. I rolled in a deluxe size perfume. This is Toka's Simone. I really liked this. This is like the only Toka perf perfume I've really enjoyed. So I would purchase this one. It was really nice. But it's done. Now moving on to the products I'm still working on. For the project prompt, 50 Shades of Pink. I rolled in the MAC Satin Lipstick in Brave to finish. I think I did a really bad thing. I forgot to like measure. Did I? I did a bad, bad thing. Maybe I did measure. Let me look. Oh, I did. Okay, hold on. Oh, I've made great progress on this in the last month or so. So here's the shade. I probably use this a couple of times. The first, wait, July, August, August, September. Yeah, the first month, but not enough to make a mark. But I have been wearing this a, a great deal amount lately. I like to keep this one in my purse because I think it's one of those. It's really easy to throw on and it's a really pretty color. So there is that shade. And I think I've used about a quarter of what I need to maybe. I just checked in my book and I have made great progress, but I need to like mark it and take a picture. Next project prompt is 50 Shades of Purple. So I rolled in the Ole Hendrickson Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. And this is what I'm currently working on. I forgot to measure this. I am not prepared for this video. <sighs> okay, there we go. That's my progress since I rolled this in. I think the first line is where I was or where the product was in the tube when I first rolled it into the project. So anyway, I should have better progress in the next month because it is the only cleanser I'm currently working on other than whenever I travel. So yeah, this is a lovely cleanser. I love it. It's discontinued, but I freaking love it. It's amazing. Next project prompt is Budget Beauty. So I rolled in the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer, and I have the shade Ivory. And here's what this looks like. And I think I'm at the point where I might be able to take out the stopper because you know, you can see at the very tip of this doe foot, there's product, but you can see all the windowing I have in here, right in here. So, and even all the way down here, there's windowing. Let's see if I can, there we go, get it to focus. So I think up to the point where I can take out the stopper, which I'll probably do after this video I'm done filming. And yeah, this is going fast. I, this product has 7.5 mils. So not a ton of product, about half of like a usual Tarte Shape Tape or Lancome concealer. So it won't take me that long to finish it. Next project prompt is Child of the 80s. And I chose Indiana Jones, a product from an indie brand and rolled in the Cleona Glitter Multichrome in the shade Trinket. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. I rolled this in for 20 uses. I had eight last month and I am up to 10. So 10 to go. Oh my goodness. It's stunning. Love that color. Next prompt is color pan and I rolled in a color pop lippy stick. This is in the shade Lumiere and yeah, this is all beat up. Here is, I, I rolled this in to use half and that's how much is left in here. I love this color. Now I have used this a little bit here and there just a couple of times. I'm not sure if I'm going to see progress. 
but let's see. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. I mean, not a lot, just a little bit, <laughs> but there is progress. So that is good. It's a lovely, lovely shade. I love that. Next project prompt is Day of the Dead, and I'm only working on one of the double prompts. That is the second second of the double prompts. Celebration, an item you celebrate because it works amazing for you. So I rolled in my Hourglass Blush and Mood Exposure. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush, and this is gorgeous. I rolled this in for 30 uses. I'm up to five. I had one use last month, so we're getting there. Oh, it's so love it. Next project prompt is Disney Princess and I chose Mulan. The, and the product we were supposed to roll in was green or blue. So I rolled in this green cuddly overnight detox oil and I haven't made too much progress on this. Honestly, I'm really focusing on an oil that's in my Beauty A to Z. I'm really trying to finish that one. This is more of a nighttime oil for me, but I, I use it, it doesn't matter. Like face oil is a face oil, so I'll use it during the day too. This is lovely. I love this oil. It is discontinued though. Boo. Next project prompt is happy hour. And I chose the prompt craft beer, an item from an indie brand. I went a little crazy with the indie brand prompts in this project. So I rolled in the Tammy Tanuka pigment in the shade icing. This was a loose pigment that I pressed into a pan and you can see I have pan in this one. There wasn't a lot of shadow in here anyway. I rolled this in for 20 uses. I'm up to 12. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So yeah, eight uses to go on this guy. Next project prompt is I Heart the 90s. And I chose the prompt, what's up? A product that is part of your morning routine. So I rolled in a serum. This is by Murad. It's the Rapid Collagen Infusion Infusion Serum. Yeah. So I just started using this like literally three or four days ago, if that. And so that is my teeny tiny progress. I'm using this one in the morning. I don't think this is really considered a hydrating serum, but that's how I'm using it. Because I don't think collagen on the skin does, does much, but it's working as a hydrating serum in the morning. So that's how I'm using that one. Next prompt is monochromatic project pan. And I chose the shade white. And for that, I rolled in the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white perfume. I think I've used this once, maybe twice, but I did want to talk about it because I have started to use it. My goal is to use a quarter. So you can see the little dot there means that's a quarter. So of the bottle. And I'll, I have this, this one and the, another perfume in this project curly in rotation to use pretty consistently. So hopefully we'll start to see some progress on this guy. Next project prompt is Nightmare on Panning Street. And I chose the prompt seven, an item that's still in the box packaging. What's in the box? So I had this originally in the box packaging, the Keys Soul Care Nourishing Cleansing Balm. And I rolled this into finish, of course. I have started to use this and I've made a pretty decent dent. The interesting thing about this is whenever I first opened this up, I was like, oh, it's a clear balm. No, it's gray. It's like totally, it's a gray color, which is weird, but it works really nice. It's a nice formula. I do enjoy this one and I might consider repurchasing it. I kind of like it, kind of like it. Next project prompt is same pan last year and I chose the prompt women's history month and you were to roll in a product from a female owned brand. So I rolled in the rare beauty soft, what is it? Soft pinch liquid blush in the shade hope. This is gorgeous. I rolled this in for 30 uses. I'm up to seven. So I, at one point I could see a little bit of like movement here at the top, but now I can't. Anyway, this is like I said, beautiful. I usually do like three little drops on my cheek and then blend it out. And it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. So yes, I've used it seven times. So 23 uses to go. Next project prompt is size matters. And so I just, that's a pan that palette theme where you're, you know, you roll in like your biggest palette or you could use, even use a small palette, but I went with a big palette. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I decided to roll this one in for 10 uses. So far I'm at two. Now, 
as I look at this and I pull it out to like get some use on some of these shades, I'm like, it's really warm. It's really warm. Like, I think I've only used this mat a couple of times. And so I'm thinking this is probably going to end up a, end up a declutter. And the question is, is do I declutter it now or declutter it later? And I'm thinking I may want to declutter it now. Let me know your thoughts below. Next project prompt is That's Expensive. And I rolled in a perfume. This is the Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradis. And like the Nirvana white perfume i am alternating this one let's see do i have some progress i do actually you can see my line is up here and so let's see if i can get it to be steady a tiny bit of progress i'm not gonna mark that well maybe i will no i'm not gonna mark it i think it's pretty minimal so we're just gonna continue to work on that one in rotation and we'll see how it looks like next month. Next project prompt is that So 2000s. And I chose the prompt Frosted Tips, something fancy or icy. So I rolled in the Wet n Wild Illuminating, no, I'm sorry, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow. I rolled this into Hit Pan. I'm hoping it's not a super deep pan, but this is a gorgeous highlighter. I'm working on some other ones that are more like summer appropriate right now so that I can use them as I have a tan, but the, but this is more of a, like a fall, winter, when I'm at my palest highlighter. I have used this a couple of times to mix with another highlighter that's a little bit too dark. So that's how I've, like I've used it, but it's not something I'm working on consistently. Next project prompt is Tiny Pans. And you're, this is another pan that palette theme, and we rolled in a palette with small pans or small amount of product in the pans. So I decided to work on my Viseart Violet and Tendu palette. And I want to use each of these pans five times. Look at how gorgeous. It's beautiful. Let me flip this around. So I have not hit my goal on five uses on any of these, but I've used this shade once, this shade once, this shade twice, this shade twice, We've got two uses on this one, three uses on this one, and two uses on this one. So still a ways to go. I did take this palette last time I traveled for work, and so I was able to get some good uses on it because it was kind of the main palette I worked on, but I love this thing. It's gorgeous. Next project prompt is Women Who Rock, and I chose the prompt Run the World Girls, and you're gonna bring in a product from a female-owned brand. So again, another indie eyeshadow. This is by Terra Moons. The shade is The Cosmos. This does have a little bit of another eyeshadow in the pan because I mixed them. So I rolled this in for, again, 20 uses. I had seven last month, and I am up to nine. Ooh, daddy, it's pretty. It's so pretty. So still have 11 uses to go on that one. And the last prompt I'm working on is Zodiac Panner. I chose the astrological sign for my sister, which is Virgo, and you were to bring in something green or dark brown. So I decided to roll in some eye patches. These are by Peter Thomas Roth, or the Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. So I have been working on these, I would say probably mid-month I trans transitioned over to these. And so I'll show you, I'm about halfway done, I think. And these are good. They're not great. I find that brands like Esfolio, they just have so much more serum on the actual patches. So I prefer that. If you're somebody who does not like a lot of serum and maybe you want something that's more firming rather than hydrating, maybe the Peter Thomas Roth ones, because I find that they tend to like a little bit but I also need hydration, so I need more of the serum. But they're nice, they're nice eye patches. So that is everything I'm working on. Did I, I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. So I don't think I'll hit my goal on anything. I mean, maybe I'll finish the concealer, but I doubt it. And I'm wondering, is there anything here that I feel like I can start working on that I haven't yet? I might be able to start working on the Smashbox primer or at least get close. This is for Beauty A to Z and I chose S. 
I have one mini I'm working on. And I think I have another one I just rolled into a project, but it's a deluxe size, like a little mini mini. This has 30 mils, I think. No, 15 mils. So it's not a full size. It's 15 mils. So that may be something I can actually get some progress on before the next update. I have another set of eye patches in here, but I also just rolled some into a shorter project. So I may focus on those first. And I'm thinking that's probably it. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I rolled in a concealer from Maybelline. This is a super stay better skin can corrector. Well, I'm sorry. That's in a, let's start that again. I have another set of, okay, bye.